Okay, tubers. Number two's up. Gonna wash the lava rock, put it in there tomorrow. Scratched it up. Darn paint didn't let dry enough. But just showing you what I got here. The water in. Got the pump set down there, but I ain't got it turned on yet. I'm gonna take and uh, wire tie that back a little bit. It works pretty good. See here, it's been in here. Cycle's good. See if you're going to see if I can stand back underneath the water or up underneath the pile. But I kind of like so far, uh, it hasn't been a problem. So I like not having to cut the frame on it. Uh, the metal cage it seems to work just as well as doing it the other way as long as you don't mind not having this turned around so you got full access all the way across it I really don't need that because I can get in here with a with a dip net and I can get the fish out that way if I have to but I haven't seen anybody doing them like this yet maybe but I just haven't seen any also today I cut a couple uh, aluminum panels and slid down in behind there. Kind of keeps uh, the little grandkids from looking underneath there and maybe messing with my valves. Coming out and have my tank all drained out. I'll get some more. We're supposed to have some more 30 degree weather next three or four days. And I've been kind of holding off a little bit about putting more plants in here. The lettuce doesn't mind it. Peppers, they got... They got touched a little bit there with a little froth there today, even though I had them covered up. That's what I put these in for. Just slid them down in behind. Uh, if you have a piece of canvas, I put it over top of it. The tubers, that's my uh, do on the uh, IBC aquaponics system. Just cut plastic, that's it. Well. I'll let you know how it goes later on, but right now it's still going good, so I'll catch you all later.